Good afternoon, morning, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. This is episode 6 of the Blaster Bay Challenge. Now, before I get into that, I've been asked a few times how I do my random rolls, how the randomizer, as I call it, works. So here it is. It is a spreadsheet I've put together. Uh, so let me just go through what it contains. Over here, we have our list of tracks. Uh, I will explain the actual results of the roll in a moment. We go over here. We have th all cars listed here. So we have an index number, the car name, whether it's standard or DLC, and which DLC they belong to, and the category in which they belong. And over here is the standard only. So there's no DLCs in that particular list. So we go over here. So what happens is. We have a random between, so the spreadsheet picks a number randomly between, in this case, 1 to 125. Same with this one. In this one, it's 1 to 64 because there are 64 uh, standard only cars. And in this one, it is 1 to 72 because that is the track list. Now, in this track list, sorry, our not contained in this track list are the go kart tracks, the point to point tracks, and the uh, Nurburgring. And the Nurburgring combined because this was originally bought for my wacky races sessions. That basically those those races just don't fit into that format. Those tracks rather don't fit in that format, so I've taken them out. So, what how it works is uh, a change needs to be made to the sheet. So what I tend to do is just put the one in there, hit enter, and then the rolls happen. So I will then declare right. Do you have the US car pack? Uh, to the person that I'm rolling this for, and they'll say yes or no. If it's yes, then I'll offer them, in this case, the Cadillac ATS VR GT3. Uh, and if they choose to gamble, the roll is already done. So here is it's, it, this is exactly the same as this. Um, both rolls look at exactly the same place. They both have this random 125 uh, bit at the beginning, and the rest is a V lookup to look at the various bits of the table. So the car name looks in this column, the DLC looks in this column, and the category looks in this column. Um, same deal with the standard only. Of course it looks over here, so it looks in that f that one for the car name. Because it doesn't do anything with that because it's only standard, but it does look up the, uh, car the uh, category. Track, same deal, just looks in that column for the track name. So I would say to the person, do you have the US car pack? Yeah, uh, yes or no. If they say yes, offer them the Cadillac. If they choose to gamble, I would say, haha, that's uh, knackered you because you've got the Mercedes Benz 300 SL, the historic GC3. Um, if they are standard only, so, so some of the people that have taken part in the Wacky Races only have the standard uh, lineup, they don't have any DLCs, uh, I can just roll the standard only. Uh, I don't have a standard only gamble roll. Uh, I didn't see the point in that because I can just simply you know, do that again uh, and roll again on the standard line. And when, then once all the rolls are done, so you know, just keep going and it'll roll all four elements every single time. So once everybody's had a had uh, had a go, we say, okay, what's the track? And the track is whatever it, it ends up being. So it's, okay, it's Rupuna A. So then I would go into the server and say, okay, Ooh. we are at the oops, we are at the Rupuna A circuit, etc., etc. And that's how the randomizer works. It isn't perfect by any stretch, it, uh, it, because it randomly chooses a number between 1 and 125 for the cars, uh, there is always a chance that it will get the same car multiple times. We've had that. Uh, I've actually had the same car appear in this line and in this line at the same time. It isn't perfect, but it's not bad. It works for me. So, that's how I randomly roll uh, people, uh, how I roll cars, rather, for when anyone wants, so no point in saving it. Right, let's get on with the show, shall we? Yeah, wrong. You know, you know how this works by now, so uh, we are now moving on to the Aston Martin V8 Vantage GT4, so the second GT4 car, I believe it is. Uh, it is indeed after the hydrogen hybrid. Let us crack on. Onwards, virgin soldiers! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, my dog's joining me. Yeah, Manny. Another Aston 
nothing to my left. Oh, I do like the noise of, of the V8, V8 Aston. And away we go! Ross Drinkwater, what an apt name considering how much rain is in this event! That's going to be nasty! Uh, can't see, can't see, can't see! The wall! Jeanette is already ahead of me, not too sure what I've got around me. I think it was a couple of the rocket bunnies. Ah! Bars my way through, the bots do it, so uh, I'm choosing to do it. Come on, stay with me. Oh, hello, Morgans. Whoa! Crikey, I did not expect people to slow down quite that early in the bridge. Come on, stay with me! Ah! Marcus Boo. Someone trying to get past me? I say denied! But denied at the moment anyway. Ah! It happens to be a sunny day at the moment and the sun is right in my face so I'm struggling to see the race I'm trying to, trying to do. Matt Tobin in... I can't be the caddy, it's a GT4 caddy. Ow! I'm not sure what it was, I've just bundled off the track. Come on, turn! Whoa! Small stutter there. Stay with me! Here we go. Oh, I'm going to be in the lead! Well, for now, anyway! Oh, that's off. Yeah, ow. So glad there's a barrier there. <laughs> Otherwise, that would be down in the drink. Come on! There's Michael Brunk directly behind me. Ooh! Yeah, for wet tyres. Boing! Oh, come on, come on, stay with me! Still going! About three minutes or so lap on that one. 2.57. Oh, nope, that's the wall. <laughs> I need to actually open the gap to the box behind me. Softball dictates if I put the box skill up and I then have trouble or I have a car that I struggle with, uh, I'll just be left behind, as we've seen repeatedly. But it does help when I have all of the uh, driver aids on that I think that I'm. <laughs> I think that I'm using, as we saw very clearly in uh, episode 5 with the GT3 V12 Aston. Come on, round we go. Yep, 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 there we go. Woo! <laughs> My, oh no, it is Marcus Woo! <laughs> in, the, in the position behind me. So glad the driver line is as bright as it is. Boing. No way I could do this without it. That's <laughs> road signs. Be caught by the whoop. The markers go woo. Ten points. We know what that's a reference to. Ah. 
Oh, that's uh, Marcus Wu. He's uh, broken away from the pack of bots. He is chasing me down. I know I'm missing apexes by miles. I know that this is by no means a perfect lap. But hey, that's part of the challenge, isn't it? These kind of weather conditions in every single car. And my uh, general screams of... Ah! Marcus Wu, he's, uh, he's persistent. I'll give him that. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Still got the sun in my eyes as I'm recording this, so I'm actually really struggling to see the edge of the track. Not that it's all that clear in this weather anyway. Over halfway then. 244.575. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I managed to stay off the grass. Not quite. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't spin me, don't spin me. Yep. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, knew I'd got that all wrong. You know, as soon as you've committed to a corner, you know instantly whether it's going to go well or not. It's like playing pool or snooker, you know, as soon as the ball has left the end of the queue, you know whether. That's going to go well. Oh, oh, boing. Oh, that's bouncing off the wall again. Oh, I can hear him. I can hear the woo! how he's been able to break away from the rest of the box. I'll have to double check whether I am actually on the same class or not. Pretty sure that's how I left it, but... Oh. Oops. I'm going to go down to third there. Another lap after this one then. One minute forty left of the session. I have one and a half minutes to hold off the woo. And I'm in the grass again. One mistake and we'll, we'll really get me. I've just gone to six seconds, the gap. The wall! Oh, that could have been nasty. Yay for driver aids. Might have to put the difficulty up a little bit. As the series goes on, yeah, I mean, heaven forbid I'll have to get better at doing this, but 
I, I, I don't want a situation like this where I, I just run off from the pack. You know, they needn't be there if that was if I was going to do that. So uh, I would rather be fighting in the pack. It does tend to produce some rather amusing moments. I thought I was coming up to lap somebody then, but look at that. Actually, coming under the bridge is where several of the back markers are. Goodness me, someone's not having a good day in these cars. I mean, I... Whoa! No, 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 no! No! No, woo! No, woo! <laughs> no! Oh, I got him! <laughs> I managed to block him! Woo, weirdy! Didn't I can't do that now. <laughs> I'm trying to form a sentence and go, woo, 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 woo. Right there with me. Stay with it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Aha! Wow, that was close. That was very close. It was indeed, they're all GT4s. It was a Janetta as well. Why are we? What are the ones on the back? Rocket Bunny right at the back of the pack. And uh, an M3 GT4 as we saw. But then you got you know, there's Rocket Bunny up in fifth. So, Ooh. Well, well. Look at that! So again, i have not set the best lap of this class either. I mean, that Zanetta was five seconds quicker than me. Must have just been caught up in the uh, pack early on. On to the next one then. On we go. Just realised that uh, looking at. So I'd, I'd realised that on on OBS I'd actually left the randomizer on, so uh, I'm gonna have to double check to make sure that randomizer hasn't just completely obscured the view. But the preview is showing the race, so hopefully the recording is fine. So the next car is the VH GTE on GT3, something we regularly see in our endurance series, uh, as the GTE cars are allowed into the endurance races. On we go. Now the GTE is not uh, one of the quicker GT3 cars generally. But we'll see how we get on. Oh, I didn't adjust the skill level. Never mind. I'm in tank. Ooh, that was nearly a jump start for me there. Just so I got away with it. I get brood! Oh dear, that's bad. Forgot what my brakes were for. Kind of using everybody else's bra braking boards at this moment. Oh, it was a cabbie I just went past. Another Aston. That's all that is on the left. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay with it. Oh, that'll do. Unsafe re entry into a circuit. <laughs> oh, very deep. Wait. Way too deep into that corner. Aye. Damn you, caddy. Cosmin Marius Bilger. Oh, terrible cut track there. Yeah, that serves me right. Oh, easy on. Big queue of cars behind me. Looking at the map. Oh, oh no, I'm now breaking away from them. 
come on! Oh, that was nearly a cut there. Oh, that Cadillac's in. Oh no, that's not a caddy. It's a Z4, I think. Oh! Hello, Mr. Mercedes. I'm not going to try and straight line that chicane, not at that angle. Oh, sorry. Sorry, but ah! <laughs> Bot hit me back. Oh, excuse me, Mr. BMW. Boing. Can't see. There's a hill here somewhere. That heavy old Cadillac. Keeping up a lot of spray. be a steward inquiry. Naughty King Kodiak. Oh, get out of it. Go on. Go on. Stew. Mine. Someone trying to come up on my left side there. Oh, that was... I didn't think I'd be able to get away with that, but I did. Come on, come on, come on. Oi! Boy, oi. Break. Oh, I put the power on too early. Now I'm scraping on the wall. Yeah. That's why it's not good to get against that wall. Oh, there goes McLaren. Oh no, I've been spun around. Don't turn around when you're leaning against me. Thank you, Corvette. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's the wall, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. On we go. I'm not doing the GT3 cars much justice. At the moment. Hey. I'm gaining on you. Come on, Corvette, get out of the way. Fernando Serize. I think that is. Yeah. I'll pick a line and stick with it. You probably did. I'm just trying to get past him. Oh, let's make a stick. Yes. The sun here has gone behind a cloud, so I no longer have the sun in my eyes. Whoa. No, 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 no. There we go. Mark Verhoff. Earth, you pronounce that. In a Aston, uh, paying far too much attention to what he was driving and taking the right driving line. That would teach me.
hit him! There we go. He's still on the outside there somewhere. Getting a bit more into my stride now that I can see. Or well, see slightly better. Martin front. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, that was close. Call that? Yeah. Ah. In front of front. That was a fairly obvious one, wasn't it? Come on, come on, come on. Oh! Carlos Samuel Garcia. Barriero Cas Garcia. Oops, forgot to change it. Dubity reading a name tag. Final lap then. One and a half minutes of the session to go. Oh, one of the mercs, I think. Yeah, your stability control doing its job there. the pack now, come on! I can't see! Oh, come on, turn! Oh, there's a horrid catch there in the barrier that if you get that wrong, you are stuck. Cedric Room. I did overtake one. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I overtook one of his pack then, but uh, sadly no. That's Cedric. That's a Z4, I think. That's Eigenbrood. Oh, he's in on my outside. Oh, I'll bounce off him instead of the wall then. Whoa! <laughs> Disqualified! Okay, did not expect that. <laughs> ah, wasn't paying attention. My driver is already dead anyway from a head on impact with uh, what I think was a Z4. It was one of the BMWs. Whoa! Drifting GT3, lovely. GTE if you want to be pedantic. Yeah, kind of need to see through the corners, guys. Got to gas here. Oh, slow down, slow down. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. That was incredibly hard work. I would have been, I would say, eighth at least if it wasn't for someone driving headlong at me. Whew! Oh, goodness me! <laughs> no valid laps. Whew, wow, that was, uh, that was pretty hard work. Oh yeah, I was worried about my randomizer taking over the screen, but of course I closed it, didn't I? Well, that's it for this episode. Um, we'll see you next time for more of the Bluster Bay Challenge. Thank you, and goodbye.